today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making distortions in the style of this cubist artist Pablo Picasso and here we have the picture of his weeping woman. Now we're not going to be doing it exactly like this, uh, we're going to be doing it using a camera and Photoshop and our main desire is to create a sense of different perspectives we want to show different perspectives at the same time. So if we go into the image, this is the image that we've created earlier and this is the one that we're going to be working on together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the base image which you can download from the description box below and open up into Photoshop. Additionally, I'd like you to download this image and open it up into Photoshop. Now what I suggest you do is you come up here to the Move tool and then once you've got the move tool here, you want to go up here into the move tool here, right click and you want to reset all tools and you want to hit OK and that way your screen will look exactly the same as mine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come across to this circle and I'm going to go Command and A to select my whole image, Command and C to copy. Then I'm going to come over to the picture of my model and I'm going to Command and V to paste. Command and V to paste. Now I can't see through my circles to the layer below so I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit by 50%. Then I'm going to get my active layer, I'm going to press V for move and I'm going to move the circles so it's surrounded by the eye there. So the circles are around by the eye. Now I've lost a bit of the bottom of the image here so I'm going to go Command and T to change the size of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my Option button, grab a corner. When I hold down my Option button and change it, it's going to proportionally make the whole image bigger so it goes round from the circle to outside. Once I've made that transformation, I'm going to apply it by pressing Enter or pressing the Tick button. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to my base layer here and I'm going to duplicate the layer. Very important that we have a second duplicate here. Then I'm going to hide these layers and I'm going to make my top layer my active layer. I'm going to return the opacity back to 100 and now I'm going to select my whites or blacks in these circles. To do that I come up to the select tool and then I go color range. When you're in color range you can choose either highlights or shadows, it doesn't really matter, it's all the same. Then I'm going to hit OK and I've now made a selection of the highlights or the shadows. I don't need that top layer anymore so I'm going to hide it. I'm going to come back and make this layer my active layer and I'm also going to make it visible. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a layer mask by applying this here. And as you can see we've cut out bits of the model like this. Now when I bring back my base layer it doesn't look like we've made any changes because we're seeing through the cutouts into the layer below. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the size of this layer here by going Command and T for Transform. Now it's really important that you move the central dot to back over the eye because now we're going to change everything around this dot location. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down my Option button and I'm going to grab a corner and I'm going to make it bigger. And as you can see, we can see the effect of this change on the model there. So I'm kind of liking that and I'm going to apply this transform by pressing tick or pressing enter. And now what we can do is we can duplicate this layer again. So I'm going to go Command and J. So now I've got a second layer here. <coughs> I'm going to go Command and T. I'm going to move my dot over the eye again. And this time what I'm going to do is when I hold down my option, I'm going to reduce the size of it. So now we've got a small one and a large one applying in there. Then I go ahead and apply my layer and I think that's quite a cool uh, distortion. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to my top layer up here and then I'm going to get my adjustment layers down here and on my adjustment layer I'm going to select a gradient. And when we choose our gradients here I'm going to come down and I'm deciding I'm going to go for something with the reds in it. I'm going to choose this one here and I'm going to hit apply. And now we have a gradient layer over the top which is fully coloured and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down my blend mode and I'm going to come down and I'm going to find a blend mode which works for me. In this case it's the lighten blend mode. Now that you have completed this tutorial you may like to download any of the other vector images from the description box below and have a go at creating some variations of this theme. 
And there we go. We have created a cubist image, which is showing multiple perspectives, multiple distortions of this model. Here ends today's video tutorial.